this particular instrument in my family for a while. Um, I've known about it since I was young, um, and it was my grandfather's piano organ. I never knew him, um, but he was a musician, um, and he had this instrument that we now have. Um, it was really looking dirty. All these keys were yellow. This was yellow. This front plate was yellow. It was Some of the keys weren't working at all. Uh, it just was not in good shape. Just one day, I kind of took it upon myself to opening it up and cleaning it up and I think I did a, a decent job considering that I wasn't really sure going into it and I just kind of had the whole thing apart in the living room. This video has two parts, a demo and explanation. I'll also show where different screws are, how to get things apart. It's not very complicated but there's little tricks you can do in a few places to make it easier. <laughs> perspective of a piano player first. Um, I've never played an accordion, but it's interesting having it laid all out flat. Uh, so you can have your standard piano up here, but then in a sense you're playing the bass notes with your left hand, uh, but as you know, bass chords. Uh, and it's just kind of a fun thing to do without having to worry about uh, the actual bellowing of the instrument and just having the fan run. So for example, you can tell someone who's maybe even never touched an instrument uh, about just using these for example, major chords, kind of in an ascending pattern towards the um, clockwise direction of the circle of fifths, um, and then returning home um, to whatever you started at. Um, it's just kind of fun to play with someone that might have not done anything. <laughs> It is also designed to just sit on a counter like it is. When the legs are on, it's about at the meter at the keyboard level. And that is a crescendo bar or a crescendo tool, um, kind of like opening a stop in an organ, um, but not really quite. Um, actually, I'll leave it open and rotate this. This knob here controls the just the, the bass speed of the fan. And so if I rotate it, might be able to hear it. It's moving a lot faster now, but it's also a lot louder. But what's really fun is this guy. Internally, it's just a piece of metal against a resistive plate. When it's sitting on its stand and you have this open, you can use your knee, and I'll show you another shot of this, to move this. So this is the base position. And it's just the same thing as that uh, knob. The fan just goes wild. So. First things first, get this lid off. I'm going to close the lid. And if you look in the back here, there's four different screws, flathead in this case, uh, on this particular machine. Um, and it doesn't come off, it just kind of slides towards, uh, towards me. Uh, so there are two main components. There's the keyboard section and the uh, chord section. Um, it's almost like they just took an accordion and shoved it into a square box. Um, so first you have to take this bar off. This just comes right off. I'm going to put that to the side. 
So now you can take these screws out, and now these two components come out. I think I'll just do one. Oh, I should mention right here, this little tool, I'm not exactly sure what this tool is, um, but I believe it is for fixing the springs underneath these keys. Once those screws are out, you simply just lift up and it comes right out. I love the complexity of, but also the simplicity of this mechanical system. It's a little hard to see with just the camera, but at the back, each of those lines back here are rods that rotate, that are rotate freely this direction. And each of these pins, when you press them in, rotates that rod. And so that's how you get the two connected to each other. For example, one of the big cords, there we go, is a good example. This um, seventh cord. It rotates the appropriate bar to then open the appropriate valves on the, uh, the different reeds. So there are the reeds there. So even though this is called a piano organ, it's not really an organ to much at all. Now there's a lot of screws on this other one, so I'm not going to bother unscrewing it, but it's the same exact thing. The fan is under here, and this is an open area here uh, for the air to kind of bellow in. And so if I turn it on, because we're missing a entire piece, this isn't sealed anymore. And so it obviously won't play. Um, this one used to have a microphone. I took it off, so that component's gone because it was all falling apart. Now I took a leaf blower to this once I had everything out in order to get all the free dust particles out. I also had a few notes that weren't working. I believe there was dust or something underneath this and inside the reed itself. So what I did is here are those springs again. I unhooked each of these springs in order to take the entire key out. So the little hook is on the base of this wood into a little metal thing. And it's the spring is in a loop. So you stick your little tool under and it pops right out. And that was, what was that, C sharp. So now that comes right out. I was able to go into here and either blow out or scrape out or dump out any debris um, without touching the reed itself to avoid damaging it. Uh, and that made the keys work again. Unfortunately, this one C uh, still is an octave up for some reason. Uh, it never seemed to work from in my memory. This front white section, the white balance doesn't quite do it justice, um, was very yellow and dirty, had dirt all in here. This piece is actually removable. There's two little holes back there, and you can pop it, pop this out. Um, it comes towards me, uh, this little thing. It's a little stuck, but then I just simply put this in the dishwasher and cleaned it up nice, as well as manually going in with a toothpick and a Q-tip to kind of clean out everything it missed. And it makes, makes this front look nice and white compared to the yellow that it became. One thing I had a fun time doing was playing with the pure mechanical nature of the machine, the instrument. Because as soon as you pop it in, you get sound. Fun. I wanted to try to take the fan out and replace it with something quieter, something modern, like a modern computer fan. But it ended up being so well in place with the glue that was there that it was very difficult for me to actually get it out. Uh, and so I eventually just stopped kind of trying without damaging anything. And I wasn't sure if the computer fan would have enough power, probably because it's not much. Um, but keeping everything original kind of appeals to some of the endearing nature of the machine. The triangular little mountain that goes across this ridge is towards the front of the instrument. All right, final cover slides in. Get it over that ridge first. Boom. And let's just screw it in.